everyone. Today we're going to be making this rubber ducky scrubby and I'm also going to show you how to read a crochet pattern. Uh, if you like this pattern please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. I've also got another scrubby that's just a round basic scrubby. If you check out my other videos you'll see how to make that and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. So I printed this uh, rubber ducky scrubby off of yarnspirations.com. It was free and you can go there yourself if you want to print the pattern. And there you have it. And this is what we're going to be following. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the colors that I'm using for the body, I'm using marshmallow. This is Red Heart Scrubby Sparkle. And this is licorice and this is orange. I did purchase mine online. They weren't in my local store. There is a pattern on here for dishcloths uh, on the inside of the label for knitting if you're a knitter. And I am using a crochet hook, H or eight. I have a hungry kitty next to me. Uh, 5.00 millimeters. And don't forget your scissors. And we need a blunt eye blunt wide eye needle for weaving in the ends and doing the eyeball. I like to use stitch markers. If you don't have them, you can use a paper clip or something similar. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I've got the pattern here and starting off, we have to chain six and this is going to be the top of the head and we're working this way. But you know, as we're working, the head will be at the bottom. And our row one says to single crochet in the second chain from hook and in each chain across. And then when you turn, you should have five single crochets. So we're gonna do that right now. First, we're gonna chain six. Go ahead and make your slip knot. I make them different all the time, that when I'm crossing over, I'll do that again. Wrap it around two fingers, come around the back, go under that first strand, grab the one behind it, and pull it up, grab this tail, let your fingers out, and just tighten up. Okay, so now we're going to chain six. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to single crochet our way back, starting with a second chain from the hook, which is this one right here where my thumb is pointing. And we're going to go into that gap right there. It's always hard when you're working with a small piece of yarn, but once you get going, it'll be fine. And so I went to the loop, I grab my yarn, I come back through that loop, I grab the yarn again, the working yarn, and I come through the two strands that were on the hook. All right, so there's my first one. And you see, you this is, the spot where you did that single crochet. So this is hard to see here as we get going, it's gonna be easier, but that is where the strand is in that um, chain right there. So now we're gonna go into the next one. This is our second one. Pull up the working yarn, come back through, two strands on the hook, pull up the working yarn and go through two. Okay, here's number three. And number four. And the last one, number five. Okay. 
let's go back to our pattern. All right, so here's our pattern. And if you've printed this pattern out, what I like to do is I check off each row. If you don't have the pattern printed out, you might want to have a um, notepad and just write down, you know, rows one through, what have we got, 24, or 25 rather, um, at the top here. And just check them off as you do them, and uh, that way you won't lose your place. So row two says to single, I'm sorry, chain one, and two single crochet in the first single crochet. And then single crochet in each single cr crochet across to the last single crochet. Two single crochet in that last single crochet. And then you're going to turn and you'll have seven single crochet. So right now we're going to turn our work. We have five single crochet and we're going to do this next step. Okay. So... Okay, so we're going to turn our work, and we want to, I promise you as this thing gets a little bigger, it's going to be easier to hold. All right, so now we're going to chain one, just like so, and it says to do two single crochet in the first single crochet. So here's a single crochet from that previous row. We're going to do two single crochets in that gap. And if you can see, if you hold it like this, it looks like a V shape a little bit. So we're going underneath those two strands. That looks like a V. Okay, so you should have, see how I've got two strands there? Pull up your working yarn, go through, pull up the working yarn, go through two. Now we got to go back into that same spot. Now it's easier to see now that since I've done one. And we're going to do two of them there. So now you know you have done two single crochets. And now we're going to continue and just do a single crochet in each one. So here is my gap, which puts me under the two strands. Grab the yarn, come back through, grab the yarn, come back through. So now I've got three single crochets. Okay, go into the next one. This is my fourth one. And five. And the reason why this is my last one, my sixth one here, is because we did two in that first one. So we're going to do two in this last one. And then we will have seven all together. And this last one, I'm going to use the point of my crochet hook to get in there. Grab the yarn, come back through. And do one more. Now we should have seven single crochets. And I'm just going to pull this loose just to show you. Okay, so we have one, two, three, I know it's hard to see, four, five, six, seven. Now, at this point, if you want to, go ahead and put your stitch marker underneath that first single crochet that you did coming back around. Okay. So you can see it better that way too. All right, now we're going to turn our work. I'm going to put my needle back in, my hook back in. Tighten it back up. And we're going to go back to the pattern. Okay, back to our pattern. I checked off row two. We just finished it. Row three says to repeat row two. And when you get done, you should have nine single crochet. So that's what we're going to do right now.
So pick up your work. And if you recall, row two, set to chain one. So we're going to chain one. And then it said to do two single crochet in the first single crochet. So that's this one here. So we're going to do, we're going to go into that gap right there underneath the two strands. There's two strands there now. And we're going to do two single crochets. So we've done our two single crochets. Now what I like to do at this point is I like to grab my stitch marker and I like to put it under that first single crochet that I just did. And I'm trying to see it here. Okay, so it's right there. This makes it easier when I work, when I come back and I know that that was my first one. Just like when we, we come down to this end, we'll know that's where we stop. Makes it a lot easier. So now we're going to single crochet all the way to that last one. So let's see. So you don't really have to count at this point. You can if you want. Or you can just count at the end. Okay, so I've got this one, and then in my last single crochet from the previous row, and I'm going to go ahead and take my stitch marker out, and I'm going to do two in this last one. Here's one, and here is two. All right, so... If you want to count it, pull your thread up, take take your hook out, and then count count your V's. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's my ninth one, so I know I've got nine. All right, let's go back to the pattern. Okay, so I have checked off row three. We're on row four. We're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet in each single crochet across and then we're going to turn. So. Let's grab it back up. And as we get bigger here, you see the heads at the bottom and we're working our way up this way. And that's going to be the head. So I don't want this video to be too long, but I did want to include the instructions for some people that want to learn how to read. I don't know. Um, I thought this was an easy pattern to learn how to read crochet. So that's why I wanted to try that. Um, all right. So now we're going to chain one. I've turned the work. Chain one. And we're going to single crochet in each single crochet across. So I'm going to um, do it all the way to the end here. So I'm going to do the first one, and then I'm going to stop the camera so this video is not too long. So I'm going to go into that first single crochet. I'm going to do my first one. Okay. And I'm going to do my second one. And then I'm going to put my stitch marker in. Into the first one. So we got it right here. I'm going to go ahead and put my stitch marker in that first one we did because these stitches are so tiny. I like to do that. Okay, so I will meet you at the end right here. All right, so I've single crocheted all the way across. I'm down to my last one and I'm going to take my stitch marker out and do my single crochet in my last one. And then I'm going to grab the pattern. See how this is coming along? Okay, let's grab that pattern. Okay, so I have checked off row four. We are on row five. Row five says to repeat row two. And when we are done, we will have 11 crochet, single crochet. So row two told us to chain one, 
do two single crochet in that first single crochet, single crochet in each single crochet across to the last one, and do two single crochet in the last single crochet. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this whole row on camera. Okay, so. And this whole thing kind of repeats itself. So I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna chain one. All right, and I'm gonna do two single crochet in that single crochet right here. So we do one and two. And I think my cat wants to go out now because I did feed her, I swear I did. Okay, so now I'm going to put my stitch marker into that first single crochet right here. Okay. And now we are going to single crochet all the way down to this last one and I will meet you there. Down to the end, we're down to our last single crochet from the previous row, or the first one rather. And we're gonna take out our stitch marker. We're gonna do two single crochets right in here. That's one and two. Now's a good time to go back and count and make sure you have the right amount. Okay, I checked off row five. We are going to do rows six through 10 and we're going to repeat row four. And row four said to chain one and single crochet in each single crochet across. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do rows six through 10. So this is where you wanna you know, write it down and just keep up with each row as you do it. Okay? Okay, uh, row six through 10, chain one. And we're repeating row four. And we're going to single crochet all the way across. Come down to the end. So I'm going to go ahead and start my single crochets. I'm going to meet you at the end. Okay. And I'm going to take my stitch marker out. I forgot to put one in over, over here at my first one. But I can, I can start to see it better now. So, take my stitch marker out here. And I'm going to do my last one. My last single crochet. And again, you're going to have 11. If you count it from there to there. From end to end, you should have 11. You're gonna turn your work, you're gonna chain one, and you're gonna continue all the way across. And we're gonna do this until we finish row 10, and you'll have 11 of these by the time you get down to row 10. So carry on. One other thing I wanted to mention to you, if you lose your place on what row you're on, the way that I like to count them is by these holes right here. Okay, get a better pointer here. Okay, so this first row down at the bottom was your chain. And so I count these holes. So right now I've finished eight rows. So I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is my eighth row that I'm, I just finished. Okay, so I finished row 10, and I have 11 single crochets, and this is the head. I'm going to get my pattern back over here. Okay, so I've done this one. We are going on row 11. We are going to chain one. Then we are going to single crochet three together. Then we're going to single crochet in the next five single crochet. That's from the previous row. And then we're going to single crochet three together at the end and 
we're going to turn. We should have sing seven single crochet when we finish this row. So row 11, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to chain one. And this first single crochet right here, I'm going to go underneath there. I'm going to pull up my yarn. I'm going to bring it through, but I'm not going to finish off. I'm going to go into the next single crochet. Go underneath, grab the yarn, pull it through, go into the next one. Go underneath, grab the yarn, pull it through. I have four strands of yarn on my hook, and then I pull up the yarn and go through all four strands on the hook. So I have just single crocheted three together. And I'm going to put my stitch marker in at the top of that one. And I'm going to put it right in there. Okay, so now we have, when we start counting at the top, it's gonna to be like one single crochet because we single crocheted three together. Now I'm going to do five more. So that should leave me three single crochets at the end to do together. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we'll just do a single crochet. This is one, two, three, four, and five. And now we're gonna do the same thing at this end. We're going to go under here, pull up the yarn, go under that one, pull up the yarn, I'm gonna take my stitch marker out, go under this last one, Pull up the yarn, pull up the yarn, and go through all four. Okay, so now you should have seven. So you want to count seven at the top. All right, let's carry on. Okay, now we're going to start uh, working on the tail area, and we are on row 12. We're going to turn our work and then we're going to chain 12. And then we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then in each chain across. And then we're going to single crochet in the first six single crochet and two single crochet in the last single crochet and turn. Then we should have 19. I know that sounds confusing, but here we go. turn our work and we're going to chain 12. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. Now I am going to put a stitch marker in my first chain. You want to count and make sure you got 12. I'm going to put a stitch marker in my first chain right there. Okay, I actually put my stitch marker in that um, last single crochet, not my first chain. It was it's going to be too hard to do that. So what we're going to do from here is we are going to uh, single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then we're going to go all the way across and then we're going to single crochet in the first six and then two single crochet in that last one. So let's do our single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So that's the first chain. Here's the second chain. And we're going to do a single crochet right in there. If I can get my hook in there. Okay, now if you want to, you can get another stitch marker. I'm going to use 
use this and I'm going to go ahead and put it in that first single crochet. Okay, so I went ahead and put my stitch marker in. I'm going to go ahead and single uh, crochet all the way to the stitch marker. I'll meet you there. So I have single crocheted along the chain all the way up to my stitch marker where my single crochet is from the previous row. And you should have 11 single crochets up to this point. All right, so I'm gonna take my stitch marker out and we want to single crochet in the next six. And the next six will bring us up to the end here. So I will meet you down at the end here where we do two single crochets. All right, down at the end, I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna do two single crochets right here at the end. I like to use stitch markers, especially with fuzzy yarn like this. So there's one, and I'm going to go back into that same gap and do two. Okay, so now we should have 19 single crochets if you count them all the way across. Should have 19. Stitch marker back in. I counted 11, and this was actually the single crochet from that previous row. So I put that in when I counted 11, that was the 12th one. Okay, and I marked off row 12, we just finished. Row 13, we're going to chain one. And then we're gonna do two single crochet in the first single crochet, and then we're gonna single crochet in each remaining single crochet. And we should have 20 single crochets when we're done. I'm turning my work. And we're going to chain one. Okay, you single crochet in the first one. And then you're gonna single crochet all the way across. So here's my first single crochet. And I'm gonna go right back into that gap and do my second single crochet. And then in each one all the way down to the tail, I'm gonna single crochet all the way down to the end. I'll meet you at the end. Finished single crocheting all the way down to the end. And what I did was I put a stitch marker in row 12. Row 12 is the one that we did the um, 12 chain stitches going across when we got here. So that is row 12. And I put a stitch marker. You see the holes there just going all the way across. Because later on in the pattern, um, it tells us to uh, do something up to row 12. So that's why I did that. All right, carry on. All right, so we've just finished row 13. We're going on to row 14. And we're going to, first we're going to turn our work and then we're going to chain one. And we're gonna single crochet in each single crochet across to the last single crochet. And then two single crochet in the last single crochet and then we're going to turn we should have 21 single crochets at that point okay so here we go so we're going to turn our work and you might be thinking how is that going to be a tail because that looks really strange it looks like, looks like it's going to come out square but it It'll fix itself, you'll see. All right, so we've got to uh, chain one. There we go. And we are going to single crochet all the way to the last single crochet, and I will meet you down at the end, and we are going to do two single crochets at the end. All right, so carry on. Okay, we're still on row 14. I am down to the last stitch. And I'm taking my stitch marker out and we are doing two single crochets in this last one. There's one and two. And then we're going to turn our work and start on row 15. 
Yeah, yeah, that's what we that's what it should look like at this point. Okay. Okay. Here we are getting ready to do row 15. And row 15 says to repeat row 13. Row 13 said to chain one and do two single crochet in the first single crochet and single crochet in each remaining single crochet. And by the end of row 15, we should have 22 single crochet. So we're gonna, I'm gonna turn the work, chain one, like a so, and do my two single crochets in that first one and single crochet all the way down to the end and I will meet you down at the end. Okay, so I just finished row 15. I just did my last single crochet. Um, row 16 is next. I'm gonna turn my work. And row 16 says to chain one and single crochet. Whoops, where'd it go? Uh, single crochet two together. And then single crochet in each remaining single crochet and turn, and I should have 21 single crochet at that point. So I'm gonna go ahead and chain one and single crochet two together. So turn my work, I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna go into that first single crochet, pull up my yarn and hold it. Go into the next one, pull up my yarn and hold it. This is the single crochet two together. Pull up my yarn, go through all three. All right, and go ahead and put your stitch marker in and go ahead and single crochet all the way down to the end here and I'll meet you at the end all right finishing up row 16 I've got one more to do I'm taking my stitch marker out and doing my last one here it got kind of tight on me Okay, so that's the end of row 16. Okay, row 17. And we're going to turn and we're going to chain one. And then we're going to single crochet in each single crochet across to the last two single crochet. And then we're going to single crochet two together and then turn with 20 single crochet. All right, so we're going to turn our work and we're going to chain one and we're gonna single crochet all the way across. I'm gonna do my first one here. I'm gonna stop, put my stitch marker in and we are on row 17. I'm going to single crochet all the way to the end. And I'm going to single crochet the last two together. Okay, I'm at the end of row 17. I'm down to the last two. I'm going to take my stitch marker out and I'm going to single crochet two together. So there's one, pull the yarn through and go into the last one, pull the yarn through. You've got three loops on your hook, pull up your yarn and go through all three loops. All right, that's the end of round 17. And let's grab the instructions again and let's start on row 18. Okay, so rows 18 and 19 
are a repeat of rows 16 and 17, and you'll end up with 18 single crochet. So we're going to go back to row 16. We're going to chain one and single crochet two together, and then single crochet in, in, the, rema in the remaining. So let's go ahead and do that one first. This is going to be row 18. So I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to chain one. We are starting on row 18 and that's a repeat of 16. So we're going to single crochet two together. So we're going to go into that first single crochet, pull up the yarn, hold it, go into the next one and pull up the yarn. You've got three loops on your hook and go through all three. Put your stitch marker in and single crochet all the way down to the end and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I just finished row 18 and now we're gonna turn our work and we're gonna do row 19. So I'm gonna turn, going to chain one and at, on this row, uh, we're going to do what we did on row 17. We're going to go ahead and single crochet all the way across to the last two uh, single crochets and uh, single crochet two together at that end. All right, so go ahead and single crochet all the way across. I'm going to go ahead and put my stitch marker in here. Single crochet all the way across all the way down to the last two and I'll meet you there. Okay, I am down at the end of row 19 and I'm going to uh, single crochet together the last two single crochets. And we just take that stitch marker out. And then again, that's one. And that's two, three on the hook, and go through all, th all three. Okay, so you can see how the tail has taken shape. There's the head, there's the tail. Okay, and we will continue on rows 20 and 21. Okay, now we're back to rows 20 and 21. We want to repeat row 16. And at the end of 20 and 21, we should have 16 single crochet. So row 16 is chain one, single crochet two together, single crochet in each remaining single crochet and then turn. Okay, okay so again, um, at the end, I probably don't need to repeat this. I think you probably know by now, but I'll do it again. We chain one and we single crochet two together. So I'm going into that first single crochet from the previous row, bringing up the yarn, coming back through. I have two loops on the hook, go into the next one bring it through, three loops on the hook, and bring it through all three. Okay, and then I'm going to single crochet all the way down to the end, turn, chain one, and do my uh, two single crochets together coming back. All right, so this is row 20 and then 21 coming back, and I will meet you at the end of row 21. Okay, I've just finished rows 20 and 21. I have 16 single crochets. And we're going to move on to row 22. And row 22 tells us to repeat row four. So going back to row four, all we have to do is chain one and single crochet in each single crochet across. I think you know how to do that. I'm just going to turn. I'm going to chain one and single crochet across. I'll meet you at the end of row 22. And 
We're getting down to the end. We have rows 23 and 24, and 25 is our last row. And what's going to happen when we get to 25, we're gonna put a border around the whole thing, and we're gonna make the beak and the eye, and the, and the loop for the top of the head. And 23 and 24 on the instructions says to chain one, single crochet two together, single crochet in each single crochet across to the last two single crochet, and then single two, uh, two, uh, single crochet two together, and then turn, and you should have 12 at that point. So I don't think I need to show you how to do this again. I think we've done enough of those. So go ahead and do rows 23 and 24, and I will meet you at the end of row 24. Okay, so now that I've finished round 24, um, round 25 starts the same way as round 24 where we chain, chain one and do two single crochets at each end, two single crochets together at each end. But then you'll notice where the asterisk is, we, it says working in ends of rows. And when it says ends of rows, these are our rows. This is the end of each row. So we're gonna be doing our border next. So it says working in ends of rows and adding a single crochet as needed to keep piece flat. Single crochet in each row to row 12. And that's where I had marked row 12 before. Row 12 is this row here where we started making the 12, the, uh, the tail. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that single crochet together at each end, and when we're done with that, I will show you how to make our border. Finish the first part of that round 25, and it says working in ends of rows and adding single crochets needed to keep piece flat, single crochet in each row to row 12. Okay, so this is our row 12 right here. So we are going to single crochet right along. We're not turning like we normally would. We're just going to continue on. This was my last single crochet two together. And what you want to do is you just kind of want to go in at any, just any particular point, just to try to keep it even and do your single crochets. And so you just go along and make a single crochet. Okay, I'm, and I am going to go ahead and go into this one and give it a try, see how it looks. So you just keep going along doing your single crochets. Let's see, I did that one there, so I'm just gonna go into this one. And I do like to go under at least uh, two strands of yarn. Otherwise, if you grab run one strand, it's going to uh, stretch it and you'll have a big hole in your project. So just to show you what I'm talking about, if I just go under one strand like this, you see how it creates a, a hole, a, a gap in your project, and that doesn't give you the nice finished edge that you want, you really want. So, so that's why I like to go under more than one strand. Okay, we are almost to the end. I'm going to meet you right down here at the end. Okay, so now I've come down to the end. You can see how this is giving you a finished edge look. Now going back to our directions, it says working in opposite side of foundation chain. This was our chain when we chained 12 to start to make the body. So that's what they're referring to, this foundation chain. When we first started our project, we, we started with a foundation chain at the head, but they are referring to this one right here. And so they want us to three, do three single crochet in the first chain. So this was our first chain. This is a first chain here of this row. So we're gonna do three single crochet there, and then we're gonna single crochet in each remaining chain. 
and then it wants us to repeat uh, from the star to row one. So each one of these chains, and I'm going to go into, you see all these little holes here. That's what I'm going to do. And then we're going to single crochet our way up to uh, the top of the foundation chain for the head. Okay. I will, I'm going to go ahead and start this. I'm not going to stop here. I'm going to do the three. All right. So I've finished. And I'm going to go right in here, which should be that first chain. And again, I'm kind of grabbing two strands of yarn, coming back through, and then I'm going to do two more because it wants us to do three right here in the corner. This is the second one, and the third one. This is to get around the corner. Okay, and now I'm going to go into the next chain, and I'm going to do a single crochet. And I'm going to continue on, go into the next one. And I'm going to go all the way down to the corner here, and I'll meet you right here. Okay, so we're into the corner of the body and the head. And we're going to single crochet all the way up to the top. So I'm just going to go into... So you, you're going to want to judge so that you don't have gaps. So I don't want to go in there because that's going to give me, uh, it's going to pull and leave a hole. So I'm just, I'm going to go right over here and I'm just going to go ahead and start my single crochets right at this point. And if it doesn't look good to me, I will, you know, pull it out and do another one. But I think right now it's okay. So go ahead and single crochet right across the side of the head here until you get to the top where we did our foundation chain. I'll meet you there. Okay, so we have finished with to the top of the head and this was our foundation chain at the top of the head. We started on this side with our chain and now we are on the back side, but this particular project really doesn't have a right side or a wrong side, so we're not too concerned with that. However, the instructions refer to it in that, in that sense. So I wanted to explain that to you because there is a mistake in here, which I feel is a mistake. If you don't think it is, please comment. But now we want to at working in opposite side of foundation chain, which is what I just said, and that part is correct. We are on the opposite side. It wants us to do two single crochet in the first chain, single crochet in the next chain, and then in parentheses it tells us to single crochet chain nine slip stitch in the next single crochet. Well, I'm pretty sure it means in the next chain because that's what we're working on. We're working in chains, we're not working in a single crochet. So I think that's just a slight error there. So let's go back to here, and we're going to do two single crochet in the first chain. So we're at the top, we're working in our foundation chain from when we started, and we are going to do two single crochet in that first chain right here. So, I want to make sure I'm in the camera. There's one, and I'm doing two. The next thing it says to do is to single crochet in the next chain. So, the next chain, I'm going to do another single crochet. I'm going right in here. Now we get to the parentheses where it says single crochet, chain nine, slip stitch. It wants us to do this in the next chain, not the next single crochet. So in the next chain, right here, we are going to do a single crochet, 
we're going to chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we slip stitch in that same chain. So we're going to come right back in here. We're going to pull up our yarn. We now have two loops on the hook. We're going to slip stitch by grabbing that back piece of yarn, that back loop, and bring it through the front loop. Now we've slip stitched that together. We've made our hanging loop. And if we go back to our instructions. Okay, I lost my place. Okay, hanging loop made. Single crochet in the next chain and then two single crochet in the last chain. So in this next chain, we're going to just do one single crochet. So I'm gonna go right in here and I'm doing one single crochet. And this is my last chain right here. And I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna do two single crochets. There's one and I'm gonna go in there again and two. So just pull this out. There you have your little loop for the top of the head for it to hang on a, on a hook. Okay, and now we're going to finish our edge coming down this side to this end. So I let me pull up the instructions and go from there. Okay, so now it wants us to repeat from the asterisk to asterisk around to the first single crochet. And we're gonna join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet and we're gonna fasten off. And then we're gonna start working on the beak. Okay, so the asterisk, this is working at ends of rows and adding single crochet is needed to keep piece flat. Single crochet in each row, which is what we just did before. So I think you know how to do this. You just want to put your hook back in and just go ahead and single crochet all along the edge here. And I will meet you down at the end right here. Okay. Come down back to the bottom of the duck. And I think I called it a chicken before it's a duck. And we are back to that first single crochet down at the bottom and it wants us to do a slip stitch. I'm going to take out my marker and just go right in here, grab my yarn, pull it through and pull it through the yarn on the hook. All right, so we are going to finish off right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm pulling this, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just going to cut the yarn and pull it the rest of the way through. Tighten that up. We're going to take our needle and we are going to weave in these two ends. And once we're done with that, we will start working on the beak. We're almost finished. It's a cute little washcloth. You know, if you want one that's smaller, just go with a smaller hook. This is a 5.00 millimeter. Go with a 4.50 or a 4.00. Go ahead and, and try that. Maybe you want a smaller little scrubby for an infant as, as a gift. But this is very soft. It's not scratchy. It's very nice. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna finish off the ends here. And I've got my wide eye blunt needle. And I've threaded it and I'm just going to weave through the other stitches. There is no particular way to do this. You just kind of weave it in. 
you want it to, um, this will help it not to come loose and fray. And so I'm just going to go back the other way now. And this is pretty much how you do it on all crochet projects. So I'm going to go back in that way. And I'm going to come back this way one more time. So if you keep going in the opposite directions, that's what really helps keep it in place. And you let it come out. Cut it. And there you have that. And I want you to do the same thing with the one on the very bottom. So carry on. All right, now we're going to work on the beak and we're going to make it separately and then we'll sew it onto the duck. And the beak with C, and C is nothing more than the color. They, uh, at the beginning of the directions, they labeled the colors A, B, and C. So I'm using orange, and of course you can use whatever color you'd like. So with C it says chain two. So first we are going to make our slip knot, and I'm just going to wrap it around my two fingers. I got the tail on the right hand side. Come around my two fingers, cross over this way, and take my crochet hook. Go underneath the first loop, grab the yarn in the back, and pull it up. Grab the tail, take my fingers out, and tighten up. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to chain two. And that's one, and that's two. And then the instructions say to work two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So the second chain from the hook and we're going to do two single crochet. This is tiny so it's going to be one two. I'm going to go right in here. And do two single crochets. That's one and two okay got to kind of keep in mind where you're at and the next step says Row two says to chain one and single crochet in each single crochet, in each single crochet across and then turn. So we have to turn, we're going to chain one and single crochet in each single crochet across. So we only have two single crochets right now. So we're going to chain one and turn and you see the two single crochets that we just did. And we're going to do single crochet in each one of those. There's one. And there's two. Okay. Now we're getting ready to start row three. Row three says to chain one and do two single crochet in the first single crochet and one single crochet in the last single crochet. So we're going to chain one and turn and two single crochets right in here. Here's the second one. And one single crochet. All right, 
had to mark my paper. So we finished row three and I turned. We now have three single crochet, which is kind of hard to see, but that's what we have there. And chain row four is to chain one and single crochet in the first single crochet and two single crochets in the next single crochet. Single crochet in the last single crochet and then turn. And we should have four at that point. Okay, so let's put this down. Right now I've got three single crochets and I'm going to chain one and I'm going to single crochet in that first single crochet. Okay, and then in the, the next one, I'm gonna do two single crochets. So here's one. And again, sometimes you have to use the point of your hook uh, to get it in there, especially if you're a bit of a tight crochet or like I am. So here's one single crochet. I'm gonna go right back into that same spot and do my second one. And now I'm going to go into the last single crochet and do one single crochet in there. Okay. So now I've done the fourth one. You see the beak taking shape. Now we go to row five. And row five is telling you to repeat row two and leaving a long tail for sewing and fasten off. Okay, so row two wanted us to chain one and single crochet in each one across. So going to turn the work, chain one and single crochet across. So we should have four. So we're just going to go ahead and single our cro single crochet our way to the other end. It's the second one. And the third. And the last one. And when it tells you to finish off, you can either pull it out at this point and or cut uh, cut your end, pull it all the way through to tighten up, or you can do a chain and cut it. And pull it through. Okay, and just tighten that up, tighten up that in. There's your beak. I know that was tiny, probably a little bit hard to see, but kind of not easy to mess up, but there it is. Okay, now we're going to sew it onto the body. That'll be next. Okay, so this is the front because this is your pattern. If you look at the picture, that's the way they have it. There's not much difference, except you can see the border a little bit better this way or this way. So it just, it doesn't matter, whatever side you wanna work on. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our needle and we're going to sew the beak on. Now there's no particular spot. You're gonna put it where you want to. Uh, in the picture, it doesn't look like it's halfway down. It looks like it's a little bit more than halfway down. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I didn't need to leave a long tail at the very beginning, actually at the end is where we had to leave that long tail. You want to go ahead and get your needle and thread that in. And we're gonna pretty much do what we did when we did the finished ends on the duck at the bottom. And you just put the thread through here and put the beak if you want to use a straight pin to pin it in place, if you, that makes you feel more comfortable, go ahead and do that. And I'm just putting it up against the spot where I think it will look good. And I'm just going to go grab some of the white and I'm going to pull up 
the end here. See what I've done? And then I'm going to pull that through. Okay. See how I've got the, uh, the needle threaded? I just have that hanging right there. And then you can just go into the white part and go close by the last stitch and pull it through and just keep doing that. And you see why I said that you needed to have uh, somewhat of a long tail for weaving in the ends. Okay. And then once we get to the very end here, we're going to weave in the final end like we did before. And then at the point here, I've got to weave in that little piece there as well. So let's do that. We're almost to the end. Really simple. Especially even if you have never sewn or hemmed a pair of pants or a dress or a skirt or done anything like that before. This is not that hard to do. Okay, and I'm going to do one more here. Okay, and then I'm going to weave this in. Here you have it. Let's take a look. Okay, and I'm just going to finish this off by weaving it in. And I'm just going to go through here, like so. Pull it through. And I'm just going to go back in this way. And I could go back through another time, but I'm just that I think that should be tight enough. And then you just cut it off here. And I want you to go ahead and do the same thing with the beak. Just weave it through, cut it off, and then we will do the eye. Almost done. Last step is the eye. This type of yarn used to be, might still be called eyelash yarn. It was very popular a few years back for making eyelash scarves. So when we make this eye, maybe it'll have a little eyelash to it. So what I've taken, I've cut a, cut a piece here. You might wanna go a little bit longer. I'm gonna do this maybe a little bit differently than most, but I'm gonna fold this in half and I'm gonna take these two ends and I'm going to put it both ends through the eye of my needle. Now I can only do one at a time. I'm gonna do this off camera so I can see better. Okay, so I've threaded my needle and you see I've got the two ends here. I had folded it in half, which creates a loop at the end. And of course, if you know how to sew it all, whatever way you wanna do this, you can. This is just a, one way that I'm doing it. And just eyeball your picture, haha, to see where you want to put the eyeball. Okay, so I think I'm going to go about, let's try it maybe right here. I'm just going to go into, I'm going to try going into that hole. Whoops, lost it. Come back here. I think I said that hole, didn't I? All right, I'm going to go through that hole. And I'm going to pull it through, but not all the way. And I'm going to go through the hole right next to it. And I'm turning it to the back side where you can see the loop. Oh, I did it again. And I'm going to put my needle through that loop to secure it into place. So I'm just going through the loop and I'm just going to secure it, turn it back around to the other side, and that's cute enough right there. 
or you can try doing another one. Let's see what it looks like, because this is your satin stitch. It's just kind of horizontal stitches side by side. This might look too big. Okay, that's not bad. So there's the eye. Okay, and then you just turn it back around and you just kind of finish off like you have been in the past. Just go under here. And I didn't come through to the other side when I did that. I'm just gonna go like this. I'm gonna go through that piece and just tighten it up one more time and I'm going to go through that one more time and maybe just one last time just to make sure don't want it too big and I'm just going to go ahead and cut it at this point. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so there's your eye, there's the back side, which they could use that as an eye either way. Okay, you can pull this one out a little bit, make it a little bit more. Here it is, here's your rubber ducky scrubby. And you can make this in different colors if you'd like. I hope you enjoyed making this project with me and I hope I helped you with reading instructions on crocheting. And please subscribe if you did like what you saw and you want to see more, uh, click the bell for notifications for future videos. Thanks again.